record there and hit record recording in progress even though i don't use the um i don't use the sound cloud i i i haven't messed up and forgot forgot to hit re record in a in a very very long time i would time. Remember, remind you yeah i guess do i sound all right right i forgot yeah. to check my my own fucking mic lo levels what's fine. up everybody buddy hi Cheers. I guess. I guess. I guess, Nick. You want. You want to. Uh, want to do the thing? Let's do it. Do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Marvel Multiverse Mayhem. Oh, crazy! The best With podcast. Fourth wall breaking. Yeah, we're, lots of fourth we're wall. We're podcasting breaking. on Friday. It's. We are. It's not even Saturday. It, this is pre-recorded, audience. And I just like. Can we break. Can we get to like six or whatever? <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm joined by Kyle, as always. And we are brought to you by Grow Generation, where the pros Indeed. go to grow and introduce our podcast network, Kyle. Uh, Genreverse Podcast Network, part of the LRM Online family, L lrmonline.com, genreverse.com as, as well. The uh, podcast network works wherever you get your, your podcast from. Google, Spotify, Apple, Stitcher. other stuff. <laughs> yeah. I use Stitcher. Then, <laughs> yeah, and then of course, course our um, our YouTube cha channel, and you guys can s subscribe to it because it's like newer. Please do. There, there. It's always Nick, slow to build up. We're a house cat. Yes. Yeah. If you hadn't guessed, oh, go ahead, Kyle. I was gonna say I think I solved one issue with my camera. I now manually focus it one. Yeah. Which is annoying, but. I, I don't know how to stop the auto like brightness adjustment, so I gotta I got I gotta figure that out. Tech is Anyways. beyond me. <laughs> Get your son to help you out. Oh. But uh, if you hadn't caught the reference earlier, today we'll be discussing the original Deadpool, 2014, maybe. One of the worst times I've ever been destroyed working at a movie theater because no, we didn't was, know. This was uh. Later than that, this is 2016, dude. dude. Oh shit! Wasn't it? Wasn't Because I, I, I think, yeah, I think it's 2016. Because I was in recruiting school. Okay. Well, it came out in like February. February. Yeah, it came February. over out over Valentine's Day weekend, mm -hmm. and we weren't expecting as much as we got. And I was working Sunday, and we got absolutely destroyed because of Deadpool. I think there was also Fifty Shades of Grey or something out that weekend, yeah. but it was. Oh, I've never had lines that long at the movie theater in my life. Just because we were understaffed. We weren't staffed for a blockbuster movie. So, that pain out of the way, we decide we're going to revisit some of the wonderful Fox X-Men films. Yeah, we we uh, kind of have a, a plan. A plan. The, there was a plan. There was, was an make, idea. Yeah. <laughs> there was not, uh, much, not a good plan. but <laughs> No, so, sort of. Basically, we're going to do do a regular De Deadpool review the, this week. Talk about what still works, what do doesn't work, if any anything. It all works very fucking well. well. And then uh, we'll talk about, about the so-called greatest Wolverine movie. And I don't think there's such thing as a great Wolverine movie, but we'll talk about about Logan, and then we'll watch the the absolute worst version of both of the, these char characters with uh, uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. But that's going to be like a super super cut uh, live watch. Like uh, Nick and Nick and I are going to watch party it to, together and record our, ourselves. But in order order to ho hopefully one day when once you guys help us, you know grow and get the requisite sets it'll be like like our number one money ma making video of this ridiculous you know live co commentary but i gotta s cut it together so we can actually mo monetize the damn thing in in the future <laughs> so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that so that'll be a lots of fun like a two-week pro project to do all the edit editing i'm sure anyways can't wait today we're starting so that's with what a good we're one doing here yep foxes best movie at the time well yeah not it's the fox the best fox movie ever no it's the no no best, i do you know fox what i X-Men movie, movie ever. no oh really like best best deadpool fox 2 superheroes. i almost like deadpool better, two no, better I like, than deadpool. i like one better than than two because yeah, here's good. why i don't like one as much and it's one of my only complaints about the movie hmm. it's and it i realized it worked 
watching it again recently. Um, but the time in between I've been thinking about a lot, but it really does work is te- there's no reason to tell it out of order other than to make the story more interesting. Okay. And I don't know. I just, at the time it felt like a crutch, like there isn't a lot of story there. It's just being told out of order to get you to the action quicker. It's um, cl- clever use of, of the me- medium in my, my mind. Yeah. But I mean, I, that's why I kind of like the second one better. It's very straightforward and there's a lot more characters and action and stuff to cover. Not necessarily action, but characters and it works linear because there's more juice there. And I think one of the reasons you would do this out of order is because if you didn't, it would look very much like a, any other superhero origin story aside from it being rated R. Like, no, I I think the uh, I mean, you you can look at I, Iron Man doesn't do it to to the say same extent, but it plays with with time, starting you in one spot, true. jumping to to another, then bit. jumping back and coming all all the way forward again. Um, yeah, man, man, I, it's I I think the second one's issue is it's the second one. So everything that's fresh and cool about the the first one that makes an impression on your mind is in, inherently uh you know starting at a, a plateau on the on the on the sequel. Um my other issue is like so, some of the pace pacing of the second one there's there's some cuts and uh, a few things that that you could do d- differently to kind of kind of streamline mm-hmm. line it, but uh, it's great. Don't don't get me wrong. I I love it. Bro, Brolin as Cable is is ama- amazing. I love uh, uh, Beats as as Domino. That's that's great. Ryan Reynolds so, as Juggernaut. Just yeah, his Reynolds voice voicing <laughs> voicing ju- Juggernaut. Although I'll still say, say this: while ne- Negasonic and Colossus have the be- best X Men co- costumes. Throughout the entire every movie that has a mutant in in it, the best costumes are de- uh, the Deadpool, Colossus, and and Negus. With Sonic. his little training. I fucking hate the the fact that they still are so scared to do Juggernaut with some sort of red helmet, like then and, he and not thick, not thick ass metal. Like just make it a a fucking thin. Me- metal he- it, I'm, I'm tired of them being scared of shit like that is that but isn't his helmet there for the same reason that magneto wears a helmet because isn't he even related to xavier in the comics yeah it's like his brother or some shit that or it's wolverine something i don't remember because i, don't remember I mean i think that's why he why he wears the helmet too i don't know why all of <laughs> the magneto's team doesn't wear helmets or everyone who hates <laughs> professor x it's no like, i think there's some other stuff that go goes into into it but uh it's like the uh for me it's like the iron man conundrum where it's like why doesn't he make them all suits or even the wakanda the wakanda conundrum or it's like why doesn't he just give them all vibranium items whether it's armor or weapons yeah, he's, he's the uh he's uh xavier's uh step step brother okay that means yeah. they share one parent right that's step brother mm-hmm. Mom. Mom. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Now we got that out of the way. Deadpool band. Yeah. What a revelation now, now at the can, time, and it's still great. Yeah. Now we can start re- reviewing the uh, the main mo- movie that we're here to talk about instead of c- comparing it and, to its, to yeah. its uh, sequel. I'm sorry again that we're doing the lesser version of Deadpool, just like we did the lesser version. I mean the. Because last time we did the greater version of Daredevil when we did Ben Affleck Daredevil. And now we're doing the lesser version of Deadpool whose mouth isn't sewn shut and who doesn't have katanas growing out of his arms. Yeah, so. which makes a good good joke on that. Don't don't force comedy, Nick. It's 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 below you. <laughs> it's just the same joke, too, is my favorite I part know. about it. <laughs> oh. Wasn't that our last show, Daredevil? Yeah. So, Kyle, what are your favorite like let, like let's just get into it we don't need to go over plot and stuff in order obviously yeah. everyone everyone there's gonna be spoilers but if you haven't seen deadpool get the fuck out of here just kidding <laughs> we like you but if you don't want it spoiled you should get the fuck out of here yeah um, uh my favorite a- aspects of this this mo- movie is just how seriously ro- romantic it really really is now i'm joke joking uh deb deb deadpool's actually a bit bit of a fucking bitch like uh, if he had picked up something sharp and just, you know, went after Francis from the get go, 
he would have ne- never had any of these the, these ish- issues. And then he's so so vain, so vain that he thinks nutsack face is gonna keep the uh, the the chick off, off of him. So now uh, it's it's the com- it's the comedy, it's the uh, self deprecation, it's the full fully embracing the the character. It's the eyes. the The eyes are one of my my favorite th- things about them. Not just before that they, they move for the same year, Civil War, but still um, before Civil War. Same year, same year before, but uh, before it. And the mouth, Civil which Spider Man never got right either, because it's partially it's partially CGI. Uh, this is, my eyes definitely are, and the mouth is sometimes well, CGI to help because those masks do cover it pretty. Uh, yeah, but uh, I think they just changed the shell so that way when he's moving mm-hmm. his j- jaw, it actually moves, unlike the solid shells that yeah. uh, they used in like Spider Man. Original Spider Man, especially. There's yeah. no mouth um, movement there. It's the little movements in, in the eyes. Uh, there There's <gasps> times where he's. No, no, no. Even times where it's just an eyebrow raise, and not even a, an exaggerated one. It's just a, a simple l- little de- details. They did a really, really good job mapping uh, uh, the motion cat capture for that, or or animating it. I'm not sure if it was a com- combination or, or not. Not uh, the. It, it's all of the the gross outs stuff, man. It's the will they do this? Yeah, the, they'll do they'll do it. Will will he make sex j- jokes? Yeah. Will he make a a, a body horror? I, I, yeah, that that's gonna happen. Their violence. Or, yeah, <laughs> I I love I love it. I love the the social co- commentary. I don't know. Should should I hit you? You're you're a girl. I want to be equal, I'm but so confused. You know, I I yeah, fucking. Punch bad guy, guy punching her fucking dick. <laughs> you, you know, and I I love I love that that it it's not afraid, it's not a f- afraid. P- period, and that's that's the best part about about Deadpool. Man. It was a risk at the time. Like I said, the movie theater we were not ready for it, and it already played on Friday. Well, here's why it played harder on Sunday than Friday or Saturday. Sunday was Valentine's Day. Hmm. Like. And you know most people probably celebrate it the night before, but so Sunday was just like it's it's a holiday and quote weekend. Let's go to the movies. Let's bring the kiddies along because all the kids. Oh, that happened. All the kids. Oh, I know. Especially in Logan, when we talk about Logan, I'll talk about kids. But especially since we had the standee Ooh, blood. for it, and Ugh. people would see the standee for Deadpool, and kids would be like Ant Man because his costumes, I guess, close enough for them. And the parents yeah. were like, Yeah, let's see Ant Man. No. <laughs> It says dead. It says Deadpool. The kids can't read. He's like young kids. Hell, if you can confuse Parents their costumes, read, you're really young. <laughs> uh, we we had a a nine nine year old, and then like a teenager, maybe fourteen, fifteen, and then the parents at like sitting next next to us when we were in the the theater watching watching it. Brian and and myself, and um. Get out uh, of there. <laughs> well, my recruiting Fort Knox is where recruit, recruiting school is. Mm-hmm. My family, my in laws at the at the time, and then a bunch of friends from from school all live in in uh, uh, Clarksville, t- Tennessee, which is like two hours and, and change from Fort no- Knox. So every week weekend while I was at school, I went and, and visited, and and we went and saw the movie. Anyways, um, the the. The teenager, sure, no, no issue. Fuck, I was seeing seeing worse than that, worse than this, this yeah. younger. Uh, but the Core the nine year old man, man, the 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 mom was okay with the the blood and and even the la- language. But when when they got to the sex scene, <laughs> and, Happy International Women's and, Day. Yes, that that was the one. She an, an audible. Oh my god! <laughs> because I love that International Women's Day part in particular. Because that's when he's getting fucked in the ass. He's like, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna litter litter try pe- pegging. I think is what they they call it. But um, I like fucked in the ass. But. Uh, uh, well, it's just f- funnier. Any anyways, uh, I, I'll get distracted. He the the nine nine year old was just like sh- shocked, almost silent. Mom is like embarrassed, like trying to hide hide her face. The, the teen and the dad are just la- laughing, laughing their asses off at at what's on screen and probably what what uh the the fact that there's the the young kid kid there so and that's what's kind of interesting in my experience going to it usually my dad just goes to marvel movies because i'm making both my parents go 
He wanted mm-hmm. to see Deadpool 1 and 2. My mom would not go. I think this is the only superhero movies I've ever taken just my dad to back when I was... And I say taken because I used to get free passes. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah. And he was even interested in 2. He's a little skeptical. He, he really... The reason he doesn't like these type of movies is all the CGI action scenes, which is why I think he'll love the first two acts of uh, Shang-Chi, but he'll probably hate the final act almost as much as I did. Yeah. But uh, Deadpool, I mean, it was a pretty low budget movie too. Yeah, very very low budget. Then the second one's budget. obviously a huge budget. Um, I was going to say one of the coolest, I mean, it just starts off with one of the coolest ideas that the bullets are numbered, which is, you know, just a Deadpool thing. Mm. And then him wasting the bullets like, yeah, bad Deadpool. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Bad Deadpool. Deadpool. He doesn't get, yeah, doesn't get like three people with one Indiana Jones style. And he's like, good Deadpool. Yeah. It's a funny movie, movie man. man. Uh, they, they get everything right in that, in that sense. So meta, like, as you were mentioning earlier, I was thinking about Scream 2, which I watched this week. You know, Scream's kind of the same idea. Where it's like, here's the rules of a sequel. I did notice this viewing, especially, I don't think it's probably the first time I've watched it since I've seen Deadpool 2, which I've seen... All three cuts, even the PG-13 cut, many times because of the Fred Savage parts. Yeah. Okay. But um, one of the things I noticed in this compared to two is they were mostly Fox references. There were very few like Marvel Cinematic. There was a second one he like calls Josh Brolin Thanos. He's like, you got a Winter Soldier arm. And even like, I'm Batman. There's a uh, DC DC joke. Yeah. The, this one's mostly Fox jokes and other X Men jokes. Like yeah. you'd think that there'd be more people. You think and they'd the, pay for more X Men. And the Green 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 Lantern joke. Yeah. No, make the suit I, animated. I mean, the the in my in my mind, um, in in my mind, there there's there's nothing great greater than getting getting to get not not just rev- revenge. But get revenge, make make fun of the people that that did it, and have them pay for for it. Like pay you to make fun of that. That that's what happened. He got paid to make fun of Kenberg, to make make fun of ev- everyone involved, from the Donner Company all the way up to to Feige. He got to make make fun of everyone that's touched uh, the the X films and fucked it up, and make make fun of um, continuity. I think uh, he does it in the first movie, even doesn't he? Yeah, he he does. He goes Ma- McAvoy or yeah. Stewart. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I'm saying like make make fun of D- DC and Warner Brothers for for Green Lantern. You know the the picture and the, oh, the super suit. For some reason, I forgot uh, that wasn't Marvel. Uh, comments it was X Men Marvel because it was so bad. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's it's great that that he get he gets to to do that. It's almost it's almost like um, the MCU. I mean, making fun of the dumb stuff from uh, like No Way Home, uh, exactly from the Sony Spider-Man films, the stupid shit from the Amazing Spider- both Spider-Man films, which are both and the worst. Spider-Man and Andrew 3. Garfield should never fucking come come back and do another god- goddamn. We don't need another fucking P- Peter Parker. Get Miles on screen before you do another another P- mm, Peter fucking no, Parker. Anyways. I want a full blown multiverse movie. Oh, fuck dude. you. <laughs> like I want a full on Spider Verse no. with even. Gwen Stacy is Spider Gwen and Why? Miles. That, we got that in animation already. That is the whole animated mo- movie. Uh, d- double di- dipping. Plus, Come on, you can't bring the villains back don't, again. Don't, They've been yeah, fixed. I saw exactly. Okay, I saw this exactly. great meme. I'm sorry, we're talking about Spider Man, not Deadpool. But honestly, one of the movies I want to see the most in the world is Spider Man Deadpool because it's absolutely one of the funniest comics <laughs> of all time. Because Deadpool is a Spider Man stan, and Spider Man thinks Deadpool's annoying as shit, even though he's a quipper too. But they each have different skills. They get each other out of shit. But um, there's this great meme where it, it shows the picture of Green Goblin, like right in front of, like right before he gets stabbed. And he's like, I'm cured. And then he gets impaled by his glider anyway, because he just, he flashed back to that moment in his multiverse and still got murdered by himself. I mean, that, that would happen. And that's another yeah. thing about Deadpool compared to a lot of the MCU heroes you see. Yes, almost every Avenger kills all the fucking time. They don't shy away from it. But like Deadpool gets in trouble because he does it so often with Colossus. Like he has Francis. He has him in that scene. And you don't realize the importance of Francis because you haven't seen No, it flashes back. I don't know if you've seen the full importance of Francis yet. What do you mean? Like yeah, I think it flashes to his 
like does it flash back to him getting mutated before he catches France? Because they, they flash back like at least twice during the fight scene on the bridge. Which I don't is... remember what, which one. I think he I think he shows him his his face. At the end, he uh, shows him before, his face. Before, oh, you're right. Because it's when he falls in the tra- trash can that I think we go ba- back and watch the mu- mutation happen. Mm-hmm. All not the trash di- can, one of my favorite truck, lines. Trash truck. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex. Because <laughs> he breaks all of his limbs trying to beat up Colossus. <laughs> That's definitely That's one I quote a lot. Um, I, when we're watching it, like some of it's just brutal and serious. Uh the fight between him and Ajax, which is named after a soap, um, yeah, the, around the fire is just brutal. And he watches his yeah. friend die, and he gets impaled, and then he turns. Well, that's the, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like, come on, d- dummy, you don't go look, guys. There, there there's a t- time and a place for for everything. There is a time and a, and a place to get sweet, the delicious re- revenge, and draw out the the pain and suffering as long as possible and then there's other times like you're trying to make an uh, escape there's a room full of super powered people and a dude dude that feels no no pain you need to take that target out now like fa fast take take him out maybe p- piss on the corpse that that se- seems fa- fairly reward rewarding but no man that was just dumb move and and that's what set, set it all off was li- letting a- ajax li- letting Fran- francis get get away when when instead of picking up the the fire uh extinct- extinguisher he could have picked up a, a pole a sh- shard of glass I, I the guy feels no no pain he he's not invincible yeah <laughs> Yeah, that so, just yeah. reminds me of the Bond villain. That's his only trait is he's a bullet going through his head. It's going to kill him and the world is not enough. But while it travels through his head, he can't feel pain. <laughs> it's the stupidest fucking movie. I love it. Uh, yeah, it's a real con- condition not being able to uh, have sen- sensations. People get se- seriously hurt with it. Cause they, yeah, because you don't can... know if your hand is like... On a, on a stove or something you can't tell yeah. and it still does so damage it, it varies from per person to person like how little sensitivity but and it's not just pain it's like all not not yeah. necessarily all but like sense sense of t- touch and I'm which just is like, why the character complains i like you can't have sex in the world is not enough so. yeah <laughs> like bond even i think makes fun of him he's like you can't even enjoy sex can you yeah right right any but any uh, back to De- deadpool dopender one of the most oh, classic characters hilarious. immediately introduced. Um, I love that they recreated the the leaked, in quotes, video and like recreate it to a T, but with better special effects. And of course, I don't I didn't enjoy it as much in the sequel because it's the same joke again. But I love like produced by some asshole. It's like, yeah, yeah. The, the writers, the real heroes or something like that. Mm. There's no names in the opening credits, which the first time you watch it, you're like. My boy Deadpool. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, Re- redoing the the uh, footage, the test footage was was br- brilliant. Uh, Ant Ant Man did the same. Uh, took the base of what they did. Yeah, uh, the Ant Man test f- footage that um, they released uh, a few. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, you're I'm losing my Marvel card. It's okay, it's okay, kid. It's okay, youngin. <laughs> um no no uh but i i do i like i like that i like that they used it uh the credits using a uh juice newton's angel of the morning is 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 great all the music man Um, i love that soundtrack even like salt and pepper where he's like sitting on the bridge and like just drawing himself killing francis yeah yeah have you seen this man um it's it's all the the whole opening credit sequence is great, and and I kind of get what you mean by like, oh, it's re- rehashing the sequel, but it's kind of like they get to make more meta jokes because it's a sequel, so they they can keep it fresh. And if it just went to no- normal credits, it wouldn't feel right. I either. Plus, yeah, the sequel has the James so. Bond thing going mm-hmm. on, but I do. Yeah. And then the most clever part of the sequel's opening credits is because the writers kill off his girlfriend. It's like. The writers, the real villains. It's like mm-hmm. the opposite. <laughs> They're like some yeah. douchebags. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna have to pay some bill- bills here, Nick. Are we about done with all of our our positives? Yeah. Just pay the bills. All right. Pay bill bills. Grow generation. Grow generation, where the pros go to grow. For all of your cultivation needs, Grow Generation has the right products, service, and staff to make your grow successful. 
Go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that that's the the ad bills paid. Thank you. Help us pay more more bills by subscribing and following on YouTube and and the Gen- Genreverse Podcast Network wherever you get your podcast from. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just gonna. I have very few dislikes about this movie. The meta stuff is, I feel like today, meta has been running to the ground. Like, super. I, I made that joke when uh, that's when the Facebook company changed their name. I'm like, well, oh. meta's gone. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I love meta. Community, I'm um, in the new Animaniac seasons. Like, mm-hmm. talk about how well, even the old and they're like, and we did meta all first. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, um, Deadpool always. Austin Powers is the first thing I think of. There's the scene in the second one where he's mm-hmm. like, well, this will be, be quite a fun adventure for you, Austin. And they both look at the audience and they're like, and you can all come along, too. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, from that get go, there's a Ryan Reynolds Sexiest Man Alive magazine with flying in the slow motion yeah. credits. Yeah. And then, of course, he talks to the audience. It's like, there's a wall break within a wall break. You know, there's all of that stuff. Um, soundtrack's fantastic. Um, I actually used to listen to, to it all the time about things, not I know, but I don't know what to bitch about the same stuff again. You don't have you don't have have anything. What do you to have? Go complain Maybe about give me something. nothing. Nothing really. Man. This, this is a per- perfectly executed project. They sure you could be like like there's a plot hole here, plot, plot hole there. CGI you have is maybe to kind weak of, here because the, the lower CGI budget. Is who cares? De- definitely got some weak weak parts, like the pan- panning shot at the end, like the the pull out. Yeah, <laughs> the <thing pulling> out <laughs> to, tonight. Out. Uh, the pull out uh, shot at the end is just a atro- atrocious C- CGI, but you immediately forgive it because of e- everything else it did. You're like just fucking help put that put the budget in the eyes because that mm-hmm. that's part of what makes it and so it makes superheroes little... more interesting now because when you have the static eyes of well, spider-man no, 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 no. it's like Ooh. i mean yeah i like i like that 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 of course harkens to the to the comics but for for this char- character more than any um it it enhances uh uh it enhances the the comic comedy like his eyes unnaturally get shaped like there's times they're super like it's got an extra cur- curve in yeah. the, the lid that that doesn't nor- normally happen and and uh uh just things to help accentuate uh without losing the the fact that he's he's in a in a mask and yes spider-man's is less expressive but yeah the the shock relaxed a angry that that does help but and with Iron it, Man, they cheat. You know, I mean, which is the smartest decision Favreau made. Right. Is we need to see Robert Downey Jr. because that mask does display. not. Yep, a HUD a HUD was was great for, for even though that. it makes and no sense physically. It keep, it's yeah, it's super necessary. From, Otherwise, that movie would from, not have worked without that decision. No, it keeps you from do, doing what uh, the Power Power Rangers movie, or even the first Spider Man. I would so, argue. Uh, well, even I was Willem saying, Dafoe. Uh, you only see his uh, eyes sometimes. No, Power Rangers removes the the helmets, the the mask part. So they have like this partial hel- helmet on, and their whole face is ex- exposed because the the actors want to be seen. <laughs> like, that was part, part of Robert Downey Jr. Be, aside from don't connecting a, uh, him for the character. Yeah, don't, don't be in a Power Rangers movie. That's a bit d- different. Um, the but, remake. There, by the time uh, they no. put on the classic masks, they look so dumb. Like I wish uh, they the had modified were, them the a little bit. The suits were b- bad. The but, suits um, were fine. The helmets were no, dumb. No, the suits were atrocious. The Zords were tro- atrocious too. I have but... no. As I said on an earlier podcast today, which Meta we recorded say it will be out today. This will be out tomorrow, Friday. It's Friday, Friday. Um, I brought up how uh, my parents wouldn't even let me watch Power Rangers as a kid because it was too violent. Uh, you've you've said that's 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 uh that's that's them <laughs> uh so no there i there there's nothing in here that that's b- bad there's things that could be done better but there's nothing here that that's bad uh every joke la- lands in my opinion Re- reynolds is on t- top of his ga- game and other than the some of the weak stuff to kind of like half ass do weapon x program in in Should deadpool just called it that I, I mean, I'm fine with it. X. Like I said, said I'm I'm f- fine with it. You know, every, uh, latent mutant genes versus different types of experiment. Like I'm I'm fine. I, like 
I can't I can't even complain about some of the canon shit like comic book related can- canon shit. I don't I don't care. It's it's that good. That's true. I that the oxygen thing just makes me so uncomfortable. Why is that? It's oh, kind of like Ryan just Reynolds thought, buried, <laughs> but uh, which I can't watch because I'm too claustrophobic. Yeah, that the idea that once you're able to catch your breath, that lowers it enough that you're like, <gasps> oh yeah, and we're gonna put you in there all weekend, and it's like, oh my god, like inject me with all the mutant shit you want. Don't put me in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, man. You yeah. either your genes Immortal- will either kick in or you'll yeah. die. Near immortality. For a weekend of suffocation. I guess mm, I'm too much of a pussy. I'll just be a normal guy. <laughs> I, I I I try it. <laughs> okay, it like it, 30 minutes it. later, let me out! Let me out! <laughs> I, Push the panic I know, button. I I know you don't get the the anime re- reference, but for anyone that that does, I've always said if I was in the world of Full Metal Alchemist, I would have done Human Alchemy like the second I found found out about it to get rid of my bad arm <laughs> and be able to do the the fucking transmutations without a circle the bad thing is nick for your for your con for context like uh doing human alchemy sets you like in front of the gates of essential like hell so to speak you get exposed to all the awful n- knowledge <laughs> but it unlocks some c- cool ass abilities but but you also got to s- sacrifice some shit uh, it's usually body me. body parts not for me uh, I, I would I, I'm tired of my arm and my my leg hurting. I I he, I like kill earthly, for a new bag. earthly stuff like earthly stuff su- sucks. So no, I don't want it cut cut off. If if I'm in an if I get isekai <laughs> and wake up in in the full full metal alchemist world, yeah yeah, I'm bringing back some poor ass human and fucking up and. <laughs> I I'll want metal arm because you brought that up. I want no comments from you when I bring this up. I would What's want. That? Like in Book of Boba Fett, a better spine. Just give yeah, me droid fine. parts for a spine. Okay, I didn't. I, 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 like, let's not talk about Star Wars. Anything other than that. But I was like, that, I would want, fine. or even a Doc Ock spine. Give me. A, I do the Doc Ock thing. Prosthetics. Yeah, that, that, I would let them inject. You know, those things go into yeah. my back to get Doc Ock we'll arms. Get even worried if they about, did control like, me. Uh, I don't care. Get, wor- get worried about a. Uh, get worried about a um, microwave. Sh- you know, zapping the the AI chip and, and ah! now you're evil. And now you're evil. I mean, that seems that seems worthwhile. Yeah, but, yeah. it'd be fun to have four yeah. super so, useful arms and then yeah. my little like T Rex arms. So I'll be able to to you know transmute shit and and rearrange mo- molecules with the thoughts of my my mind. You'll be evil. evil. Robbing banks to pay for we'll, the we'll fight each, each other once tritium. and be like, this is great. No, I keep telling. I know. You we don't bring it up again. It's from everyone. Check out our show about Spider Man <laughs> that, Two. We discussed tritium. I, you just ruined my joke. <laughs> I was going to play along with you in character to be like, no, man, man, I keep te- like we're fighting, and it's like I keep telling you, Nick, tritium is not that precious. <laughs> the power of the sun. You see, the see, palm of you try hand. to force co- comedy, and I try to let it grow naturally. And then you just, you just com com blocked me, man. You com. <laughs> me. Nick is a com blo- blocker. Block Tell me comedy. that wasn't forced comedy. Probably you that joke in your head for me. years. I wish. I w- wish I could plan th- things like that. I gotta set set you up to to block me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I do. Um, one of the things I was gonna say is this really set Ryan Reynolds on the path we see now. Like he's done, a, he's done some actually mm-hmm. good. Even I don't like romantic comedies. He's gonna do romantic comedies, and then you know you have like. Uh, all the action stuff he's done. Well, done. I wasn't even say, well, I guess he was in Smoke and Aces. I used to confuse him and Dane Cook like about ten years ago. Oh, you're talking stuff be- before. I'm talking Deadpool about before Deadpool. Since. He like you oh, know he had before? Van Wilder before. He had the Cook oh, yeah, one is... before. But since then, every character is Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. The well, sl- it's just Ryan. Yeah, Reynolds. exactly. Because Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Loose. Yeah. Well, like he, free he, guy, it's not. I mean, he's a different character, but he still has like the same one-liners the Deadpool will give away. Um, this aviation gin commercial. I mean, cause yeah, Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. Um, but now every role you're like, Oh my God. Fu-. Like, well, would I be, ex- I would not be excited for detective Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds if there was no Deadpool. Cause I wouldn't appreciate him. <laughs> Deadpool maybe um, appreciate like every movie he's in. You're like, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Reynolds said what well, once in a in an interview, um, and and you, you can you can never really t- tell a hundred percent, but he was like the the Ryan Reynolds ca- character, which is or caricature. I think maybe he was the word he used, like. Uh, it's exaggeration of of himself. I I don't think he he's himself self as much as Seth Rogen is. Mm-hmm. R- that's just Rogen. <laughs> that's just the fu- fucking ass clown. No, like, he's kind of like a uh, Harrison Ford him. or uh, um, not John McClane is Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis or any like, those kind of actors who it's always a version of Harrison Ford. It's never like Indiana well, Jones is not that much different than t- Han Solo. Cast. And he, yeah, yeah, it's like getting kind of all Bruce Willis to, roles to are basically degree. John yeah. McClane. Uh, yeah, after after Tom Cruise Die even? Hard, abs- a- absolutely after Die Hard. Before Die Hard, uh, Willis actually had a few like rom coms. Yeah, that was mostly what he did. Struck and stuff, stuff. So yeah, um, they did not but, want him. Because no, of his rom coms, ex- exactly. So, so Reynolds, I and I, I kind of have to take it at his at his word because it's real, kind of similar to to me even where there's like me but an exaggeration of me that I I kind of do for the show entertainment purposes. Well, not just here, but in even in conversations with friends, friends and family. No one knows stuff, the real Nick. You know, um, like strangers even to. I don't, I don't know not not necessarily project con- confidence but ease t- tension like i don't like t- tension at all and if i can kind of ease that by putting more a- attention on me without it being on something a- about me you know i i don't know how to mine's it, the opposite yeah. and it counts again <laughs> i do it too well and it counts against me a boss will like just tell me to change something Apparently, I'm a better actor than I thought, and I'll look like I'm crying. He's like, "No, you're not in trouble, Nick." And it's like, "Yeah, I was just joking to you, dude." <laughs> that happens all the time. I get too good at it, I guess. Like, I like act like I'm like personally hurt, and then someone's like, "No, no, no," and it was a joke. And I'm like, "I know it was a yeah. fucking joke. That was a joke too, dumbass." Dumas, <sighs> Mr. Dumas, Mr. Dumas, Mr. Doctor Beard's Fasse. <laughs> Doctor Beard Fasse. Yes. It's beard for Love scrubs. Love scrubs. I forgot Such that this show. movie had a baby hand. I thought I thought all the baby stuff was in the sequel. No. They just do it bigger than the sequel. Until he chops off his hand. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the baby hand. You see it 127 hours? Spoiler alert. That movie's not, that's not really a spoiler because that's the real life story. Yeah, man. What else? Anyways, oh, yeah. oh the helicarrier is interesting. Throwing something as close as they could to the helicarrier in it. Yeah, I know you don't like that CGI, it, but it's like them it trying makes you want, to like wonder if it. Uh, no, I see. Definitely a parody of the helicarrier. Uh, well, the th- thing is, is that there's additional engine parts, and the the underside is very building. You think it's just so a boat? Well, no. I'm saying is it looks like a combination of of potentially like a, a building being built or dis- disassembled and uh because like i said there's not it looks like you it's just see scrappy. four Yard. it yeah but it, it looks like you see the four t- turbines but there's actually like six or even maybe eight, eight. i think I having remember, a there's more than four building part to it is yeah closer to the comics. so i i don't know no but i definitely th- think they were trying to make that it's a imagery. reference i think yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah. we're not in the MCU, but we can go close. And the real I, MCU fans would be like, Ooh. I wonder if it was more of just like, ha ha, we, we can. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was some something I definitely saw. Okay, here's something I wrote down. That's my main complaint with Wolverine 2. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. If the hero is so powerful, he can regenerate from being ashes is he overpowered and unstoppable that's a wolverine problem i used to have in the early movies and the comics where it's like we wolverine survives a gunshot to the head in x2 there's no way to kill him even if magneto rips him to shreds he'll regrow eventually 
I mean, they've done done stuff like that in in the com- comics, and yeah, you eventually you eventually have to find a you have to find uh, a weakness. Otherwise, they're not you have interesting. to find something exactly. It's it's what makes Superman well, interesting to to me. What my friend brought up uh, his main excuse because I've complained about Superman, Deadpool. No, I actually never complained. I've complained about X Men and Deadpool. And he's like, well, one of Superman's weaknesses is Clark Kent and Lois Lane. If he's captured as Clark Kent, he can't just break out as Superman. Or if Lois, like, his human connections are his weakness. Mm -hmm. And I would say the same with, it's not really the same with Wolverine, but I I did find that a more compelling weakness than Kryptonite when my friend, whose favorite superhero is Superman, explained that to me. I'm like, you're right. Lois Lane is like, I'll kill her right, right now if you don't like... And then again, he could fly at super speed, grab her, and kill the person. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the stake is her, his girlfriend. Like she could die. He's gonna even if he gets stabbed through the head, he's gonna survive. But he can lose Vanessa, which never happens in this series. Yeah, but we we also know certain things that that won't happen in, in comics, at least not permanently. But. Um... No one dies I mean, forever. yeah, all all he all the he- heroes that have secret identities like, have that weakness. To so to, so like to speak. Batman says and, in Dark Knight Rises, like yeah. the mask isn't for you. Yeah, it's to protect those that you love. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> if if you could get up from in, anything, it, it does get bold. Like he gets the scene where he gets stabbed in the head is hilarious. Doesn't he see floaty birds and stuff? I know I just watched it the yeah. other day, but I can't remember. And yep, funny. And he's like John, waving John to uh, Vanessa, and he's on his cartoons. side with a fucking <laughs> katana yeah. through his brain. But here's uh, a question I always wondered: What's that? Could Deadpool be snapped, or would he just regrow? You know, he would be er- erased from existence. Think so? And then when he was so unerased, there'd be two Deadpools. No, you don't think it grew out of the ashes? There, th- that's not really like ashes. A- ashes. That's I don't. I don't know. Carbon. Uh, you're uh, right. Like it's the, the ori- ashes are the just for effect. Otherwise, they the, would blink out of existence. Essentially, because because the original like animation idea was each stone ripping apart each each person through time, through f- physical space, from their soul. Uh, True. Like they they were gonna they were gonna do that, but they said it was just too much. Um, so I always took the dust effect is just the for dust us effect like, is oh, essentially just base carbon atoms. Like it's not even light like life. It's just coal. It's essentially bur- burned up coal, and you, and that's not you know living. Do you so. know the comic history of Evil Deadpool? No. And I hope to see him in a movie, maybe the third movie. He's parts if of Deadpool sewn together. <laughs> so like he lost an arm and he lost like a head wrong, and stuff. Wrong, and it's just parts of him sewn together. Stone. And he's evil Deadpool. <laughs> <sighs> that metal apocalypse joke that I was making sewn back back together wrong. Great metal song. Great time. Uh, um, I haven't watched enough of that. I should watch more. Great, I enjoy that show. show. Great show. I watched a lot of it with my stoner great, friends back in college, show. but that was a <laughs> long time I'm ago. One of your stoner point. friends now. <laughs> I don't see uh, them anymore, man. Different state. <laughs> I know. Anyway, ways. Uh, Deadpool, man. It's it's great. And next up is Lo- Logan, which we're not going to talk a whole b- bunch. You guys already heard me kind of say I'm not a big f- fan. And I am a big fan, so that's yeah. a tease for next time. Less agreement, yeah. more fighting. Yeah, and then our big, big thing to do do after that. So it'll probably be uh, two weeks between the the Logan and and uh, uh, X Men Origins. So that way I can edit it t- together. Because like I said, I'm I I don't want to put an hour and a half long track, but but we will make av- available the audio fan commentary if you will in its entirety uh as as well uh which you guys can then p- play along uh with the mo- movie like if you start want the to, movie to, to in do three like that. two one but yeah not yet uh <laughs> three two one go or three two one <laughs> i'm totally doing that to them now <laughs> <laughs> i watch i used to watch when his wife wasn't living with him my best friend and uh his wife was still in wherever the fuck they lived before and he moved to say no or, not oregon 
um, Salem, Oregon, which is not obviously the Salem, but uh, Massachusetts, yeah. he would have time to watch movies and we'd be like, okay, we're starting Star Trek in three, two, one, mm. go. We did all the yeah. Star Trek movies and all the Mission Impossible movies. I made sure I was a few seconds behind him. And then we weren't on video chat. We were typing on Twitter. So I'd make mm. sure I was up behind him enough that I didn't like spoil something <laughs> right before it happened. Nice. But, yeah. So I did that we'll, with my mom we'll in the Moon Knight trailer. I like to watch trailers with my mom, even though she's just an hour away. I'm like, okay, start the Moon, Le- moon Knight trailer in three, two, one, go. Nice. Anyways, I'm gonna go go ahead and tell everyone about uh, the great thing things at LRM on online dot, dot com, including this great new toggles switch for dark mode. We're working on getting the other like white boxes that don't turn to dark dark and fixing some of the t- text. But dark oh, mode, no, ladies and gentlemen, look, it's it's pre- pretty. Pretty. Anyways, um, L- LRM online dot com. All the great great articles you you can Im- imagine, inter- interviews, podcasts, exclusive stuff. It's it's all r- right here guys all the podcasts for the genre first podcast network there on the right hand hand side available wherever you get your podcasts from daily cup of genre five days a week doing all all sorts of you know geek pop culture news and my wife and i just shooting the shit in the mornings for 30 45 five minutes uh the cantina star wars news and also book of boba fett reviews right now anime versal reviews uh uh sabiqui bisco is a crazy fucking show deals with mushrooms a post-apocalyptic rust punk as brian has begun to call it uh uh world it's really really fucking cool and then uh what else do we we got uh the no no mercy podcast and then nick nick's podcast cast nick talk Another about that, that one breaking geek radio the podcast we cover the news of the week and then review a movie or tv show yesterday or today you know we're being meta time is not fluid we don't know what timeline we're in um we cover we're basically it's a mid-season show we cover the first four episodes of boba fett and the first four episodes of peacemaker so basically it's we're in mid-season right now in both of them so we take a look at first the f- first four half of each season and we try to guess where it's going next there you guys go go and all that is available as well on our brand new needs your sub- subscription and Please. and view time <laughs> youtube channel guy guys so do check check that out and uh yeah i'm at that common on twitter he's at geeky, at geeky nick, doll. nick doll on twitter and you guys can see that on the screen below let us know know what we could do do to make the show better and uh yeah then we'll ignore you i'm just kidding we want feedback if it's even if it's on our discord which is a fun place to be yeah indeed i haven't been all right forever with that excelsior Nothing sad. <laughs>